Hey everybody, Randy again, Low Buck LS. Um, been a while since I've uh, posted an update, so back in the shop today. This weekend was supposed to be the weekend that uh, I wanted to have my truck ready to race, but uh, ended up having some other stuff come up and uh, turns out they had a bunch of rain this week, so the, the race at the track I was gonna go to didn't go ahead anyways, so. I'm going to shoot for having it ready for next weekend, so just going to, I'm still finishing up, just going to flip the camera around here if I can figure out how to do that again. Actually, I'll just stop it here. Okay, so I've got my manifold finished and installed, and I've just been driving it around for a few days. I just made a block off plate here where the, where the turbo is going to go, but... Um, anyways, manifold is done and uh, installed there. Kind of hard to see, but I'm going to be finishing up the... So right now it's just exiting out the the normal way a manifold would exit on a non-turbo truck. You can see down there I've just got the factory uh, part of the exhaust V-banded onto the manifold there. And... Uh, so now I'm going to finish up that crossover pipe underneath and get closer to uh, having the turbo actually bolted on here. Okay, so I got the truck up on jack stands in the back again and ramps here in the front. So we'll crawl underneath and see what we got to do to uh, finish up that Y pipe or crossover pipe, sorry. Okay, I'm underneath the truck here and this is the part of the factory exhaust that I've got bolted up to my manifold. So. I'm going to cut it off a little square here and then it's got to connect up to this other part of the factory exhaust here to make my crossover pipe. Okay, so this is that little piece of uh, factory exhaust pipe. I've just got to cut it right here because uh, the angle my manifold comes down at is different. So it's kind of pointing up into the frame of the truck. So I'm just going to cut it there and kind of square it off. So I got that piece cut off to the angle that it needs to be at there to meet up with the other pipe. Down here. Uh, now I'm just going to cut a straight piece of uh, two and a half inch exhaust pipe here to uh, make up the, the main part of the piece of crossover pipe I'm making. And now I'm going to use a trick I learned on another YouTube channel using a piece of this foam pool noodle and it actually works really good for holding your pipes together while you're fitting stuff up to uh, test fit the exhaust basically and I can see that this two and a half inch exhaust pipe is just slightly bigger in diameter than this factory piece of exhaust pipe I'm using but I think I should be able to uh, just make up the difference with the weld there but this pipe is slightly bigger but We'll make it work. Okay, so I got uh, most of my, the, the part of the crossover pipe that I'm gonna need to fabricate is all welded together. Um, as you can see, my welds aren't that pretty, but that's kind of the point of this is, they don't have to be if you're doing things cheap, as long as they're solid. I mean, prettier would be better, but doing the best with what I got, so. Uh, now I'm going to put it under the truck and uh, make sure it's going to fit and then we're going to weld this V-band on here to connect it to the uh, other half of the crossover pipe which is just the factory uh, exhaust. Okay, so the hot side is done. Um, I'll, I would show you the crossover pipe underneath the truck but it's getting late and the lighting's pretty crappy so you can't see it. But And I don't have time to put the turbo on tonight so I just made this uh, little exhaust pipe piece to sit on the flange where the turbo is going to sit so she'll be a little loud on the way home and hopefully tomorrow we'll start putting the turbo on and plumbing the oil line and the drain and be really close to uh, well then we got to do the cold side I guess so but uh, making progress anyways uh, have a good night we'll talk to you next time